You're very welcome back to the Daily Rundown with me, Fiona Fox. Now, I have been joined by the guys from Powder Keg Theatre Company. So I have Josh and Russ. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. It's all right. Thank thanks you. for having us. You're very good. I know you are busy. You've been quite busy um, of late and uh, in yeah. the middle of performing at the moment as well, aren't you? Um, but before we get to that, because we've got, we've got quite a bit to cover in a short space of time, let's, let's get Powder Keg's background. Where did you use? How, where did it all begin? Uh, we all met at Lancaster University. Um, there's five of us in the company, four of us apart from the four of them, and did theatre studies, and I did uh, English. Oh wow! But we all got meeting in the the theatre company, the theatre group, like the society. Yeah, at, sure. At the university. Um, and then we were just like, well, we're a bunch of mates. Let's just make stuff together. And yeah. we've been sort of doing this now for about, God, about like three four years yeah. now just sort of like we went under a different name and then we didn't like that name so we changed it to a name we thought was a bit cooler uh and <laughs> so we've been doing things in like all like we so we were based in lancaster originally yeah. where we all went to university uh and uh, we did things in like the middle of the streets like around shopping trolleys in yeah. pubs in so fields. what do you mean performances like just sort of like act plays or what do you mean yeah uh, it's kind popping of up everywhere. <laughs> it's kind of a lot of it well, we first started off more sort of interactive, so like telling stories using the audience. Uh, and now we've sort of gone into more sort of visual and all like really different like gig sort of theatre sort of things where we just play music. Um, and so yeah, it's a mixture. We, we, never, we never really make the same show twice. Mm. Oh wow, so, that's, that's yeah. interesting. But yeah. as, is it it's still scripted or is it... Yeah, but we improv? write it, like so we don't get plays that have already been written or anything right okay um, this is the first show that we're doing this week it's the first one we've actually written a full script for wow the rest of it used to be kind of this bit happens and this bit happens and this bit happens yeah and, and if we we're can, lucky this bit happens yeah well. and it's kind of like <laughs> say what you can in between <laughs> those things and it was very important um to you to sort of perform your own material is that is that yeah very important yeah, to definitely. You? yeah like, we like plays obviously yeah, but, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, None of us really see ourselves as kind of traditional actors right. or anything. Why? Why um, is that? What? 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 What's? Just um, you get a bit more freedom sure, doing yeah, your own expression. stuff, um, and you can mess with the scripts and you can choose not to say that certain thing. And you're in charge. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's kind of like it's just agency more than anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, it gives us, yeah, it gives us more sort of freedom to do whatever we want, really. Yeah. And did but you, were you always kind of on that road when you met as a group? Because obviously there's more than, that, you know, in theory that's great, but when you try and get a certain amount of, this, a number of people on the same path, that could be difficult, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah, well, well when, we st when we started off, I, for example, wanted to be like a traditional actor. Um, and they all wanted to make really weird avant-garde stuff. <laughs> so we ended up kind of meeting yeah. in the middle. Um, and so there's bits that's avant-garde and there's, a bit, there's some bits that are a bit traditional. Yeah. But you, you need that kind of mashup, I guess, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's very original. And but like, as Josh was saying, we're mates, so <laughs> like, we're mates before we're like theatre makers, so. And yeah. I imagine though, that, that has its pros and cons, I suppose, though. Does it have a relationship outside of the performing aspect or it's, the work aspect? Or? It turns quite lovely because there'll be times where like we'll rehearse during the day and we may get like really stuck on things so like oh we don't know how to do this bit or oh we think this bit is a bit rubbish now what do we do um, and rather than kind of having like massive fallouts or, or anything like that we just sort of give ourselves space to just kind of just be mates for a bit because things will naturally start happening so we have a bit of an ethos where like we will like at, at, after the end of like a long week of rehearsals or something like that, we'll just cook together. And there's something really, really nice about just sharing food with each other and just That's being amazing. really sort of like communal with what yeah. we do. So like, it's not just sort of, okay, we'll see in the rehearsal room and I'll see you the next day in the rehearsal room. It will be like, okay, um, we'll rehearse for a day. Should we just hang out for a bit? Yeah, let's just play board games. Let's eat somewhere. Let's go to the pub. That's fantastic though. I mean, so you say, do you not have Barney's now or now and again though? Or you know, like we have like little tiffs, but it's usually kind of like what you said upset me, and it's like, oh, I didn't realise. Sorry, I'm stressed. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, at, I'm stressed as well. It's, yeah, that's, that's it, brilliant it, though. Yeah, it took a while. Um, <laughs> yeah, but now it's kind of a case where it's kind of like I'm not happy with the way you're acting. And you're like, oh, sorry, I'm in my own head. Yeah, and then it's just a chat. 
That's because, extremely mature. Yeah. Well, we've been we've, we've been <laughs> we've been in so many different groups or different companies where these things bubble over, and there's just it just wastes time. Like it wastes time. Yeah. You could be making a show. Yeah. If you're going, I really want to yell at that person. Yeah. And you could have yeah. just gone on day one. Please don't speak to me like that. Yeah. Or, don't do it like that. Or come back. Where are you going? Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you, it, you could probably speak to other groups. I would say and help them out a bit with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd, yeah. I'd like. I'm a I'm I'm a drama facilitator as well. So I um occasionally teach workshops right um, okay so you have to have that kind of level headedness where you yeah. can go because you know I, I work with a lot of young 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 people sorry yeah it's so like early teens to late teens and you've got to have the same language for the entire across the board so. I suppose, mm. yeah, if you're dealing though with like very dramatic people though yeah <laughs> we just haven't got time for that yeah, yeah. we just sort of be like oh just pipe down just for this like one session we just need to get through this yeah and then it would be like should we just let's let's hug it out Let's go for a coffee. Yeah. Let's have a chat Let's about things. Let's go in the park for a bit. See, yeah. never mind. I could take this out. You could take that on the road just as a kind of an attitude for life. <laughs> I, I see I went straight into the salacious where you have a fight. Anyway, because I'll, I'll keep you I'll trying to take gossip. <laughs> but I want to talk about your actual work that you're doing at the moment. So Morale is High Since We Gave Up Hope is yes. the title of yeah. uh, what you're working on at the moment. What's that all about? Uh, so it follows uh, the story of me and another performer called Jake, who's currently in bed because he's poorly. <laughs> um, uh, it's and changeable weather. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Um, it follows the idea that I've been to the future and I've seen what happens in British politics up until the next general election in 2020. Wow. Um, and I started that in October. And then I had to rewrite everything last month. So <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> catching up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, wow. it's been like, well, there was a, during the rehearsal process, we were writing a bit about Michael Gove, like during the conservative leadership sort of like race. And we just wrote, it's, oh, this is really funny. Yeah. It's really good. It's it really great. Works. Michael Gove's going to be prime minister. Yeah, It'll be hilarious for us. It's going to be, yeah, excellent. Perfect timing. Two minutes later, like he was he very off and it was like, it was out. And we kept that in out of sheer stubbornness. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad actually. But was that, but, well, swerves like that completely, does that completely mess up your, 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 your plan or did you find that kind of easy to? Well, it, it, did, it did completely change. It became more about us on stage right. than it did about politics because I'd written some predictions, like very heightened predictions of what might happen in my life in the next four years. Mm -hmm. right. um, but because they weren't central to politics, they could stay. And so it's, been, it's become more of a kind of doing a show about politics, but it's actually, is it just me on stage making myself feel good about myself rather than addressing what I consider to be like the big issues of mm -hmm. the day? So it's kind of this idea of like individualism versus, versus collectivism. So. Is it more powerful to be like a very strong solo activist who sort of does all these things? Uh, will kind of just go on Facebook rants, Twitter rants or something like that? Or is it more important to have a community around you? But then there's all, all many contradictions about the sort of positives you can have in that. Like you can be the sort of individual, but then if you're trying to make it all about yourself, you're actually going to change things. And with the collective, um, have you got more power because there's more voices or do you end up in quite a similar bubble and you're quite surprised by when things don't go your way so I think so this was kind of a response from uh, last year's general ele election when everyone just woke up just like well we didn't uh, expect that did we <laughs> you've had a lot to draw from to be fair haven't you you've had a lot to draw from over the last yeah. year so yeah. bridge politics. I kind of preferred it when it was a bit peaceful in about <laughs> in like May <laughs> yeah when everything, predictable when everything kind of made sense yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> well, well I mean it's brilliant that you, you've harnessed that though so that, that's fantastic yeah. um, that you've made something of it um, and before we run out of time now you're also the recipient of the Hodgkiss Awards. Yeah. yeah. yeah tell us what that's about now before we like, congratulations. Obviously. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. What, uh, what does that mean for you? The Hodgkiss Awards was set up with the Royal Exchange and a woman called Sue Hodgkiss, um, who, and she every now and then gives a donation um, for, it does, it does a prize, like an award for young um, emerging artists. And we went through um, quite a rigorous application process right. up against some really, really good companies, really good artists. Mm. Um, went for a final day, 
and we we got it and yeah. we're still processing it yeah and really yeah. It's, 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 it's the biggest thing really biggest thing strange. for us Massive. so far yeah and this what that sort of will come out to will be a week run at the royal exchange with a piece that we'll be making later this year into the new year called bears which is a show which although this show has got loads of words so more or less like loads of words loads of music this show no words it's just going to be all silent um there'll be some like some music of some sort um really strong visual theater yeah where it's going to be addressing how does theater make art about climate change when it's actually contributing quite a lot to uh like a building's carbon footprint wow. so theaters you've got all the huge park cans you've got um yeah, mainly lighting uh, is the main issue in theatres, so how do we change that? So we're just going to do that and we're going to be doing it dressed as bears, because we thought that would be funny. At the Royal Exchange, <laughs> here the Royal Exchange. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic, yeah, and that, that's really 2017. Idiots, <laughs> yeah. We still don't know why. Uh, <laughs> not idiots, <laughs> we're very grateful. <laughs> yes. uh, that's fantastic, well done on that guys, um, and that's, that, that's bears, that will be, that's next year. Yes, yes, we don't know the dates for that. We don't yet. know the dates yet, <laughs> no. but we'll, we'll look it's out very, for very that early one. Days, yeah. uh, in the meantime though, we can pop along to see um, Morales moral High, since we gave up hope, I want to make sure, yeah. 28th, 29th, 30th, where, what are, they're all different so uh, yeah, 29th, 28th at the Bureau in Blackburn. Right. Um, 29th at Mono in Shorten, which is actually now sold out. Yeah, we just found Ooh. out before we came on that it sold out, so that's, um, so that's nice. That's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> however, nice however to we start want... start a night. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, we have one final kind of big blowout on uh, the 30th Saturday. Uh, at Fuel Cafe in Withington. Which okay. you and don't have to buy tickets, not tickets, tickets, don't have to reserve, it's just, just show about up. Just show, show up. up. Don't if you like it, up. pay. If you don't, don't have to oh, pay. Yeah, God, there's so a bar that's downstairs. The door. Yeah. Oh, right, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's very generous it. of you. <laughs> uh, that's very generous of you. Now, um, what about if people want to, you know, they've missed out and they want to get details, where they just do a quick powder keg, Google, Google. Yeah, if you, you can find us on Facebook, our page is the one with the dog. Uh, with a little sailor's hat on it, <laughs> who we called com we call Comrade K Nine. Lovely. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, we're also on Twitter at powderkeg underscore. Perfect. Well, we'll be um, we'll be tweeting your, our thanks anyway, so people can follow from there. Okay. Uh, Josh and Russ, thank you so much for coming in from Powder no Cake today. Best of luck with the performances this week. And for thank you. Across, so. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Uh, we're going to go for another break. When I come back, Polly and Mike will be here with their somethings to say. Don't go away. <laughs>